So in order for a garden to be successful, there are just certain concepts that we really want to master. And once you master these concepts, then your garden can be easy, fun, and productive. So the concept that I want to talk today about is how to naturally eliminate the roly-polies from your garden. Cell bugs, pill bugs, are better known as roly-polies to the kids, are actually not insects, but they are in the crustacean family. And pill bugs and sow bugs, they look exactly alike, except the pill bugs have the ability to roll up, and the sow bugs, they can't roll up, so they just run for cover. So that's how you tell them apart. Um, some people claim that roly polies are not destructive to your garden, but I have witnessed firsthand how much they can eat. So here's the top four ways to eliminate roly polies from your garden. Number one, you can just pick them by hand. Um, just go out in the morning or in the evening and look under things and just pick them up. Um, we have toads in our gardens. Uh, we name them all Maurice. And we actually can catch the roly-polies and we just throw them in front of the toads and they, they love to eat them for breakfast, dinner, or lunch. So that's fun. Uh, number two, you can trap them under a cantaloupe half, a potato half, or a board. And then what you do is you go out in the morning and you can scoop that off. So uh, the potato halves, you just cut it in half, and then I just scoop out a little bit of the center of the potato so they have a place to go up into the potato, and they'll kind of hide up in there. Um, this one hasn't been out overnight yet, so we don't have any takers yet, but if I leave this in the garden by morning, there will be some in there. So you want to go in the morning and scoop them out. If you do a cantaloupe, uh, go ahead and like eat the cantaloupe, cut it in half, eat the cantaloupe part, just scoop it from the inside, and just leave the shell with a little bit of uh, the flesh on it, and they'll be up underneath that in the morning. So scoop them out. Uh, I usually feed them to the chickens. They love them, or if you don't like to do that, you can relocate them someplace else. Um, the next one is uh, diatomaceous earth. So diatomaceous earth, it's just ground up fossilized seashells and it's very, very sharp. And what happens is those shards, when the roly-poly crawls through the diatomaceous earth powder, uh, the shards get up underneath the shell and they will um, puncture the soft body of the roly-polies and that causes them to dehydrate and die. So you want to just sprinkle the diatomaceous earth around the garden where you see the roly-polies walking. And it's most effective if you can keep it dry. So do it, you know, after you've watered and let that be um, dry through the night for the roly-polies. All right, so number four is a product called Sluggo Plus. And this is a, a granular that you just sprinkle on the garden. It's just little, little pellets and they come and they ingest this. It's, it's got iron oxide in it and spinosad, and when they ingest that, it gives them a bellyache, and they quit eating and they die. So uh, these are the options that I've chosen. Um, the only reason that I will allow this product in my garden, it is OMRI listed, which means it's registered for organic gardens, so it's safe for your garden. So you can use that. Um, I don't get paid to talk about this. This is just what I use. So you guys can choose which method you like the best. Um, when I use this, I will sprinkle a little bit on um, about once a week. I find if I put too much on, they don't eat it all. And then as it gets wet, they don't really like it. So anyways, there's your um, methods for getting rid of roly polies. And you know, with just some vigilance and a little effort, you can naturally eliminate uh, the roly-polies from your garden, which is really nice not to have them there. So if you'd like to learn more on how to eliminate pests naturally, you can get a free copy of our homemade organic pest control ebook. And we give it away with the Gardener's Guide to Perfect Soil and the Pres Preserving the Fruits and Vegetables Guide to anyone who sponsors this show at the $8.50 level. And this is a $60 value that you can get for only $8.50, so it's a really good deal for you. But the money that we raise um, from the sponsorships goes to keeping this show free to everyone around the world. We have people on six continents watching this show. 
and I feel that everybody should have access to learning how to grow food for themselves and their families. And by sponsoring the show, you are a part of keeping this education free to you and helping to feed people all around the world. And if you'd like to learn more about high performance gardening and the garden concepts that lead to success, you can go to our website. There are more articles, videos, and e-courses that can help you on your way to success. The website's thelivingfarm.org. If you want to learn how to grow $2,500 worth of organic produce with only a 15 minute a day commitment, sign up for the High Performance Garden Show. There are hundreds of episodes chock full of my best gardening secrets that I have learned over the last three decades. Go to thelivingfarm.org slash high-performance-garden-show. It's free and online. Also, if you want to join the premier online community of people who grow food, medicine, and build resilient communities, join us today at thegrownetwork.com. Thanks so much for watching. May your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.